Daedalus, the legendary Athenian craftsman and inventor, was widely celebrated for his unparalleled skills and ingenuity. He was famed for his creations and innovations, which included everything from lifelike statues to intricate tools and devices. However, his life took a dramatic turn when he committed a grievous crime, out of jealousy, he murdered his talented nephew Perdix, who was beginning to rival his own abilities. This act of violence led to his exile from Athens. Seeking refuge and a new beginning, Daedalus found himself in Crete, where he was welcomed by King Minos. Minos recognized Daedalus's exceptional talents and invited him to serve as the chief architect and engineer of the Cretan court. Daedalus accepted the offer, eager to apply his skills in the service of the powerful king. During his time on Crete, Daedalus was entrusted with several significant projects, the most notable of which was the construction of the labyrinth. This massive elaborate maze was designed to confine the Minotaur, a fearsome creature born of the union between Minos's wife, Pasiphae, and a majestic bull. The labyrinth was so complex that it was said no one could escape it once they entered. Daedalus's life in Crete was marked by both triumphs and challenges. While his creations earned him great admiration, his circumstances became complicated due to his involvement with Pasiphae. He devised a hollow wooden cow for her, allowing her to satisfy her unnatural desire for the bull, which ultimately led to the birth of the Minotaur. Though this invention was successful, it further entangled him in the dark secrets of the Cretan royal family. Despite his contributions to the kingdom, Daedalus's fortune soured when he aided Theseus, the Athenian hero, in defeating the Minotaur and escaping the labyrinth. Daedalus provided Theseus with a ball of thread, enabling him to navigate the maze and find his way back after slaying the beast. King Minos, furious at this betrayal, imprisoned Daedalus and his son, Icarus, in a tower. Determined to escape their confinement, Daedalus used his inventive genius to create wings made of feathers and wax for himself and Icarus. He instructed his son to follow him closely and not to fly too high, where the sun's heat would melt the wax, nor too low, where the sea's dampness would weigh down the feathers. Tragically, Icarus, exhilarated by the sensation of flight, ignored his father's warnings and flew too close to the sun. The wax in his wings melted, and he plunged into the sea and drowned. Daedalus watched in helpless anguish as his son fell into the waters below, the waves closing over him. The sea, which had promised freedom, now claimed Icarus's life. Heartbroken and filled with grief, Daedalus continued his journey alone. He flew on, the weight of his loss bearing heavily upon him, until he reached the shores of Sicily. There in the court of King Coculus, Daedalus found sanctuary. Despite his sorrow, he continued to use his gifts, creating wonders that would be remembered for generations. Yet, the memory of Icarus's fall never left him, a poignant reminder of the thin line between ambition and hubris. In time, King Minos, relentless in his pursuit of Daedalus, arrived in Sicily. However, King Coculus, valuing Daedalus's genius, protected him. Through cunning and bravery, Daedalus escaped Minos's grasp, living out his days in relative peace. The tale of Icarus and Daedalus spread far and wide, a story of brilliance and tragedy. It served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of overreaching and the importance of heeding wise counsel. Icarus's fall became a timeless symbol of youthful exuberance and the peril of ignoring one's limitations, while Daedalus's genius was celebrated alongside the enduring sorrow of his loss. And so the story of Icarus and Daedalus lives on, a testament to the delicate balance between human aspiration and the immutable laws of nature.